Most new Teslas have a glass roof. Now that could be a good thing or a bad thing. If you live in the middle of the desert, it's always gonna be hot. You're gonna have the sun beating down on that glass roof. And even though they are tinted, it still does warm up the cabin. So we do have some workarounds. They're basically sun shades that you can put up over the glass roof. And there's different styles. There's different brands, of course. But I've got three that I'm gonna show you today. One's already installed. We'll just take a quick look at that. I'll remove it. We'll put in another one and then the third one. So I just wanna show you what your options are. And if you like any of these, I'll put links in the description below, but I am totally agnostic in regards to which one is a better one. They're not better. They all do the same thing. They block sunlight from getting in the cabin. So it's up to you which one speaks to you more. So let's go check out the Model 3. So I said I've currently got one installed in my Model 3. Let's go take a look at this one. So what I've currently got installed is probably the most fancy of the group. This one comes from EV Base, and it's a retractable sunshade where you can open and shut the uh, front and rear. So this one, you can either shut it if it's too sunny out, or if you're going for a nighttime drive, the sun is down, you wanna look at the stars and the moon, you've got that option as well. And it's the same mechanism for the rear seats. So this one is the most expensive one in the group, but it's also the only one that allows you to open and close it as you're in the car without removing the whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall this one so we can show you the next one. All right, I've got it removed. It's really only four screws that hold this thing all in. So uh, not difficult to take out. I just uninstalled this in probably five minutes, if not less. It's just the right size to fit in a bag just for storage. So uh, I'll put that aside and let's go take a look at the next option. This next sunshade I've already done a video on and it comes from a company called R Coach. Uh, I really like this one a lot. It gives you a lot of options. And let me just show you what that looks like. So the R Coach is gonna come with a storage bag, which is good. It's got these little clips that hold it into the headliner. And they are the traditional butterfly style of um, sunshade. You've seen these before with other brands, I'm sure. Uh, this one is more of a transparent mesh, as you can see here. And so what this will do is block some of the sun, but not all of the sun. However, they do give you options. This is a cover that straps to this sunshade, and this will make it more opaque to where the sun doesn't shine through. You can even put it to where the silver part is facing up to reflect sun and uh, keep it cooler inside the cabin. Another feature of the R Coach kit is it comes with this rear triangle shade, which I've got installed right here. So this gives you a little bit more uh, sunshade inside the back cabin here, and that just installs like that. And that's just held in place by pressure, so it's not going anywhere, but you can't even tell from the outside of the car. from the inside, that's what it looks like there. There's no shade here, shade there. Big difference. This is what it looks like expanded here. I just put one in the back seat. Let's take a look at that one. It does have like a little cutout here where it is scooped to where it does give you a little bit more visibility out the back. I've never had any problem looking out the rear view mirror with this installed. So this is the back. Let's go ahead and install the front. And this is the R Coach kit completely installed. I don't have the other layer installed. And because of that, you can see the sun beating down and you can still feel a lot of warmth here. It's pretty hot actually. So it is doing something, but let's see if we can make it even better. I just put on the sun reflector here and it's just held on with straps around the corners. So 
you'll put this with the silver side facing up. So let's go ahead and see what it does in regards to blocking that sun. And now this is installed with the sun reflector screen. As I go back up here, there's no sun beating through this. It's completely opaque. And so that's what I would recommend if you live in a desert climate where the sun is always beating down, that's the one you should be looking at. All right, I just removed the R coach. So those are the first two we looked at. Now we have a third one and this one I've never seen before. So we're gonna take a look at this for the first time. I'd like to thank Kunist for sending this third option. They've sponsored a few videos on the channel before. Just do a search on my channel for the name Kunist and you'll see what uh, they've sent out in the past. This is a new sunshade. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the brand. It's got UV protection, sunblock, easy to install, and precision fit. Um, let's go ahead and see what's in the box. So this one also comes with a carry case, and I just measured it up against the R coach, and it's the exact same size carry case as the other one. Um, let's see what we've got here. So the main difference with this Kunist kit is it's gonna be an ice white color is what they call it. Uh, on one side, it's got silver reflective material. On the other side, there is no other piece that you strap to this to block it. So it is a little bit sheer, not completely opaque though. So it's somewhere in the middle and um, it comes with a little case of these clips that hold it into place. Uh, the other one does come with the same type of clips, just like these, but it does not include a case. So that's nice that this one includes the case. So this one has a few things that the other doesn't, and the other has things that this one doesn't. So I'll make sure we talk about those in a minute. Let's go ahead and install this first to see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like unfolded. Let's go ahead and put it in the car. All right, I just installed the front seat shade and this one looks really cool. It's not a perfect match for the headliner, but it's close enough that it really brightens up the area and it looks nice. And just like the R coach version, uh, they're held in with these little clips that go all around. And the way that works is just like this. So you can clip it into this like that, and then you just tuck it into the headliner right between the glass and the headliner like that, and it holds it in place. I'm gonna do the back seat next. All right, now the rear shade is installed. Everything is put together, and it looks really nice in here. It does block a lot of sun and heat, but it does not completely block the sun. As you can see, it's shining through right there. Uh, it's not quite as bad as the R coach without the sun reflector, but with the sun reflector, that one is completely opaque. So this one sits somewhere in the middle, in between uh, that R coach with and without the sun reflector. Um, so just wanted you to see the options that are available for you. One of these probably speaks to you more than the other. This is what it looks like in the rear view mirror. It does not really block that much. Um, and if we're really being honest, when I take that sun uh, screen off and you're looking through the rear view mirror, right at the end where the sun screen is right there is usually where the tent starts on the back window. And I really don't see out that area anyway. So um, this is a pretty honest look through the rear view mirror. That's what you're gonna see. And uh, it looks just like all the others that I've installed, so no different there. And it's nice, it does have the carry case. I usually keep these in my sub trunk. Even when I remove this and put it back in its case, it still fits in the sub trunk area. And that's a good thing. So I don't have to worry about forgetting it or leaving it at the house when I'm out on a trip or if I'm just away from home, I can install it at any time and it only takes a few minutes sometimes easy to forget just how large that sub trunk area is. Uh, it holds a lot of stuff down there. So there's plenty of room for all sorts of things. All right, so let's talk about what you get for the money. This new one from Kunist runs about $50. And if you use the link in the description below, you'll save 
and it'll be even less, about $45. So that one's only gonna come with a cover that covers the front glass and the rear glass, and that's it. It does a great job, and for the money, kind of hard to beat. The one prior to this was the R-Coach kit, and it's double the price, but you do get a few extra things. You do get that opaque sun reflector that you can strap to the sunshade, and that will completely block the sun. And it also comes with those rear triangles that fit the back windows uh, just on the side there. And that's something none of the other kits come with. So that's just another option. Again, it is double the price. Uh, I do have a coupon code for that as well with the link below. Use coupon code because Tesla, and that'll also save you some money off of that one as well. And the last one, of course, is the one from EV Base. It's the one that's more permanently installed, but it is retractable, so you can, on the fly, open and close it whenever you need it. And it does a great job also of deflecting sunlight and heat, but it comes at a price. That one's about $400. Again, you can save even more money if you use coupon code because Tesla, but still you need to really be committed if you're gonna spend that kind of money to have that one installed. It is good, and if you are more into the luxury side of your car, then maybe that is a better fit because it is, in my mind, more of a luxury item, where the other ones are these lightweight, little flimsy things you can pop on and off and and uh, be done. It's a lot more lightweight and sporty looking, I guess. So you're paying a little bit more for the convenience of being able to open and close it whenever you want. And for those of you who are cross shopping, Tesla does sell one of these on their own website. It costs $160. It's just a black transparent mesh and it covers the front and rear. Uh, it does come with a travel bag, but that's all you really get for the money. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about sunshades in general. Do you live in a hot climate where you would need something like this? Or is it not really much of a need? Because let's be honest, the Tesla is already tinted on the roof. So I've never really had any major issues with it, but this just does keep some of the, the temperatures down in the cabin. And uh, I know that for a fact, just from using it all last summer. So if you liked the video, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, consider subscribing. I've got a lot more installations and a lot of other cool things coming for the Tesla. And you don't wanna miss that. I'll see you guys in the near future. Bye.